Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. It is time for the unenviable task of starting my 2023 beauty counts. So over the next few weekends, I have the delightful task ahead of me of counting up everything that I own across perfume, hair care, skin care and makeup. And I thought I would ease myself in gently with the perfume count. So that is what today's video is. This is my perfume inventory for 2023. In my perfume inventory, I only have two categories, the perfumes themselves and this category, which I've called perfume adjacent. In this category, I have five products. I've got a body oil, a body lotion, a bar of soap, a shower gel and a body shower powder. In theory, these items could be in my skincare inventory, but these items either match to a perfume that I specifically own or are from a perfume brand. The thrust behind buying this particular body lotion or shower gel or whatever it is in this category is linked to the smell, not the efficacy of this product at its job, such as like moisturising or washing or whatever. You're purchasing this one for the smell. So, that's why these are in the perfume inventory. Anyway, these five products are worth $275.35. I have absolutely no intentions of trying to finish any of these this year. I just want to rotate through, use them all. If I do finish any of them, then that's great, obviously, but I've got no plans to and nothing that I'm concerned about going off. Perfume adjacent products at the top there aside. The other category is my actual perfume category. So I have 42 perfumes. I'm not going to go through these like individually or anything. I did a perfume collection video in 2021. Not really changed all that much since then except I've used things up. I have laid these out in alphabetical order. The 4711 I think that has come in in the last few years so you might not have seen that before. Everything else though I think pretty much other than a couple of exceptions. These are new, these were samples and it's two little boxes the same of the Guerlain. I can't remember what they call these. They are skin scents, they're not home scents. They are perfumes but they are sort of designed to mimic like lingerie or cashmere or material on your skin. They're not really traditional perfumes in that sense. But I do have the six of them have been added in, two boxes of three that I got gifted. Um, I don't think it, oh, the Mitsuko's new, I bought that earlier this year when I went, well, last year actually, bought it in 2022 when I went to England, and then the two Shalimar flankers, I don't think I had them when I did the 2020, no, I definitely didn't have them because they are the 2021 and 2022 flankers, so they definitely weren't in my 2021 perfume collection video and this I think from Santa Maria Novella Tobacco Toscano, I got that when I went to London for my birthday in 2021, but I think Everything else is something that was in that video, more or less. If you've got any questions about anything you see, like, obviously, just leave them down below. But I don't want to spend absolutely ages going through it if there's no real need. So, in terms of the numbers, there are 42 perfumes in total, worth $4,497.52. I've had quite a few perfumes last year, so... Although I've got quite a big collection still, I don't really want to start setting loads and loads of usage goals. I do just want to rotate through things, use what I feel like. I feel like perfume's quite a sort of, almost sort of emotional choice of what to wear each day. I don't really like having to commit to a perfume just because I'm trying to use it up for a specific project or whatever. So I definitely do want to just rotate through and apart from anything else, I don't, although perfume does have a lifespan, I do keep these all in their boxes. Uh, they all live up there usually so they're well out of direct sunlight so I'm not worried about anything going off. Having said that I am going to put one of these into my project pan this year and I think it's going to be this one from Derek Lamb and it's called 10 Crosby. Just a very very sort of simple white musk probably was far too expensive in terms of the actual complexity of the scent versus how much I paid for it. But this is one of my oldest perfumes in my collection. I bought it when I went to New York in February 2016. So that does, I think, make it the oldest perfume actually in my collection. This is also from 2016, my big bottle of Mon Guerlain, but I panned the smaller bottle and a good chunk of that shower gel and the body lotion I panned completely last year, which were all in the Mon Guerlain scent, so I feel like I'm absolutely not committing to panning a 100ml bottle this year. No way whatsoever. So yeah, in terms of looking at my oldest ones, I think it's the Mon Guerlain and this, and this is definitely, if I'm going to have to commit to one, 
this is definitely going to be the one. It's inoffensive and I feel like I can just use it up at work and it'll be absolutely fine. And then I can spend my weekends rotating through all of my other ones. I do have, you can see there, I've got four Guerlain samples. I've got this from Louis Vuitton, Nuit de Fée possibly pronouncing that completely incorrectly. This is so beautiful. I've got, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but like just down the bottom there, I've got one spray left of this. I just think it's so, so beautiful. I would love to have a full size of this at some point. So I've been kind of holding on to that. I've got samples there, a Dior one and a Gucci one, and a sample here, which I got from Les Centaurs, and it's the Mona Diorio Dojima. So I would maybe like to try and use up some of the samples this year as well, but the only thing I'm really going to try and commit to planning and setting as a goal is this one from Derek Lamb, the Ten Crosby. So for the totals, my 2023 opening value for perfume is 449752. For perfume adjacent is 27535, which gives my overall perfume inventory an opening balance of 477287. And then for quantities, I've got 42 perfumes, 5 perfume adjacent products, which gives me an opening balance of 47 quantity wise in 2023. As I said, I do definitely want to try and pan my 10 Crosby Street this year. Well, not try, I am going to pan my 10 Crosby Street this year. But that's the only real goal that I'm setting here. I don't want to end the year with more than I've started with. So that's that's my overarching goal, is if I bring anything in, I would like to have used up more than that value and quantity wise. We'll see what happens, but yeah, the only big goal I'm really setting is to finish up the 10 Crosby Street perfume. I just want to clarify before I head off what I said at the end there. My main goal is to use up the Derek Glam, which I have been calling 10 Crosby Street throughout this whole video. It's called Silent Street. The range was called Crosby Street and then they all had a different street name, I think. I can't really remember, but it's not called 10 Crosby, it's called Silent Street. My main aim is to finish up that perfume, but I also said I want to bring in less than I use up. So I do just want to clarify, I am doing a no-buy year in 2023. I may have already made a video and put it up introducing that because I do want to make videos about it this year and keep myself accountable through those to you guys because that helps me stay on track. So I will be doing a video about that. I've not yet filmed it at the time of filming this, but I may well have filmed it and put it up before this or if I haven't, it'll be up very, very soon to officially say that and to outline it and to talk you through my rules and what I'm looking to achieve and whatever with that. So I won't be freely buying perfume this year to be bringing anything in. So what I mean when I say bringing in less is if I get perfume as gifts or if I get samples. Basically I just want to, I'm not too worried about my perfume inventory at the moment. If it kind of stays where it is, as long as it doesn't grow, I'm okay with that. I feel like I just want to use up one this year, rotate through the rest of them and then probably next year maybe try and pan a couple. Um, and I think that's probably how I'll do it with perfume is one year will be just rotating and enjoying things. One year will maybe be let's try and focus on knocking a few out. I won't be buying them freely so I don't really see me bringing in any more than I use up because I won't be buying them freely. But by bringing in what I mean is just if I get gifts or I get samples I want to be using up more than I'm bringing in. So we'll see how those numbers look if that does happen if I do ask for any. I might have to change that goal of saying right I've asked for this one to come in so actually I'm going to try and knock another one out by the end of the year or whatever but we'll see how it goes. The main goal is basically use up Silent Street and just rotate and enjoy the rest of my collection. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!